Today I am going to teach you how to turn your iPhone into a high quality webcam that you can use for either OBS Studio or even to conduct Zoom meetings. So hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe because it really helps me grow this channel and I would love to bring you even more tutorials to help get you more productive and grow your business. Let's get started. So the very first thing that you're going to do in order to turn your iPhone into a webcam is that you're going to go onto the Elgato website and I'll leave the address right here so that you can just jump on over to it. And that's going to bring you up to this page right here. And then once you're on there, you're going to select a driver and we're going to find the one that's called Evo cam. And then you're going to select whether or not you want it for windows or for Mac, because this will work for both. So once you have selected that, just go ahead and download it. So once you've downloaded the driver, simply find it in your download folder and then go ahead and install it on your computer. So go ahead and click yes to wanting to install it. And then that's going to guide you through the setup, which is a very quick process. Uh, you will have to accept the user agreement and then you'll have to select where on your computer you want to store this. So go ahead and install that. And then once it has proceeded with this process, it will ask you to reboot your computer and you will need to do this before you can proceed. All right, so now that you have the driver on your computer, it's time to get the app onto your iPhone. So simply go onto the app store and then you're gonna type in EpoCam and you're gonna find the one that says EpoCam webcam for Mac and PC and go ahead and download that one. And that will just take a quick second. And once that is downloaded, click open. And now it's going to guide you through a very simple process for how to install this on your phone. So go ahead and click begin. And you don't actually need to get the driver now because you have already completed this step. So just proceed and proceed. It's telling you that you can either connect via Wi-Fi or you can connect via a USB cable. And then finally, you need to give permission to the app to have access to your camera and then you are done. You have two options for connecting your phone to your computer in order to transfer the signal. The first one is simply just by being on the same Wi-Fi network. And if you wanna do that, just make sure that you go into your settings and then check your Wi-Fi and make sure that this Wi-Fi is the exact same one that you have on your computer and that way it will automatically connect. The second way is by using a USB cable. And it's as simple as just plugging it into your computer's USB drive. Just make sure that if you are a PC user that you use an authentic Apple connection cable. Because I have used the more generic ones in the past and the PC computers do not seem to like them at all. So always use the correct cable that the phone came with or buy one from an authorized retailer. And a second thing to remember as well, if you are a PC user, you do have to do one more step, which is you have to download iTunes for PC, otherwise your computer won't be able to recognize the iPhone. So so make sure that you go ahead and do that too. So in order to activate this brand new camera inside of Zoom, what you want to do is you want to open up a new Zoom meeting and go ahead and click that. And once you have selected to be in the meeting, you'll get the option to go in and choose from video settings. So go ahead and click that button. And then that will pop up this little menu here where you can select from your new camera. And this one will be called EpoCam camera. So once you have selected that, there you are. Now note, you have to have this app open on your phone, otherwise it will not work. So always start by opening the app on your phone first and then logging into your Zoom platform. If you're currently enjoying this episode, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe because subscribing means that I can bring you more of these educational videos to either make you more productive, more knowledgeable or to help you grow your business. And leave me a comment below and let me know what camera you're currently using as your webcam. 
If you want to use this new webcam, which is your iPhone, for something like OBS, perhaps you want it as your primary camera, or maybe you want a second camera so that you can capture multiple scenes at the same time, then go ahead and open up the OBS Studio. And then from there, you're going to go under Sources and click the little plus sign. And from there, you can now create, um, you can now add a video capture device. Go ahead and click OK. And then from there, you are going to select this new one, which is the Evo Cam camera. And once you have to select that, you'll see these little dots starting to spin. So make sure that you actually open up the app on your camera in order to get the view. And sometimes this happens, it gets turned upside down. If that happens, just grab your phone and, and just flip it quickly and that will help reset it the right way. And now you have this second camera that you can use so that you can get great second scenes for your filming. So you may have noticed now that you have this app that the app in itself have some extra features if you decide to upgrade because this app is free. But for just $7.99 at the current time, you can get a whole bunch of additional features from this app. The main one being that you can get 1080 quality. And for me, that's definitely a no brainer. But second, it also allows you to use the microphone and you can also use the wide cam feature that's already built into your iPhone. So there are some additional great features that you can explore, but I think for $7.99, it's a pretty easy choice. All right, that's it for this week's episode. My name is Winnie Standish and I love to help help entrepreneurs become more productive and profitable and help them unlock their small business freedom. So if you'd like to learn more about how I help entrepreneurs such as yourself, then please visit my website right here, or you can connect with me on one of my social handles. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because that helps me grow this channel. And I would love to continue to bring you great content like the tutorial today. Have a positive day.